In this short video, I want to just quickly talk through how we can hatch an area in LibreCAD. So I've drawn over here a rectangle with a cutoff corner, and I just want to show you how we can hatch that. So to start with, what you do is you select all the lines that make up the boundary of the area that you want to hatch. So I'm going to select these three sides, and the diagonal corner, and this fourth side as well. And then I'm going to choose the hatching tool over here. All right, and then for our class, the hatching pattern that we're going to use is this one called ISO 03W100, okay? The angle will typically be 45. Occasionally, we might use minus 45 if you want to hatch two areas that are adjacent to each other, but they're different components, so you want to show that they're different by having different hatching patterns. And then the scale will depend on the size of your drawing, so you want... Um, to choose a scale that will give you, um, you know, a, 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 a nice looking hatch pattern with a reasonably, you know, reasonably dense number of lines between covering the area that you're trying to hatch. So I'm just going to leave it here at 0.7 for now. And I'm going to then click on OK. But as you can see, nothing has happened. OK. And we have over here, we have it says that the hatch failed due to a gap. A gap of 290.431 millimeters, and it gives you the, the points between where the, that gap exists, the, the coordinates of, of the, where the gap exists. So you can actually use that to find where the gap is existing. Now, the reason that in my case that there's a gap is because we selected these three lines, and they do, well, these, those three plus these other two, and they do not form a continuous. Um, closed curve. You see it says here as well, it does not form one or more closed contours. We need to f have an area that forms a closed contour. And what that means in terms of a closed contour is it means that each line that's the outline of our hatch area must end exactly where the next line starts. So this line must end over here and then the next line must start there and then end over here and then the next line must start there and end over here and so on all the way around. And at the moment this line doesn't end here, it ends over there somewhere. So what we have to do to get that right is we actually have to split this line at this point. So we can use the divide tool and I want to divide this horizontal line at this point over there and I also want to divide this line at this point. Now I can try my hatching again. So I'm going to select this, the, the, the outline of my hatch area, select that line, and then that line, and that line. But now you see that this line doesn't go all the way to the end, it only goes to this point over here, which is what we want. Then the diagonal line, and lastly this piece over here. So now you can see I've got selected a closed contour that is forming the or enclosing the area that I want to hatch. Now if I choose hatch, Set, leave the settings the same and say OK, I now have a neatly hatched area. OK, so the important thing to make sure is that you have a closed contour such that each line ends where the next line starts and it goes all the way around the area that you want to hatch. OK, thanks for watching.